for this a long This is the one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so my girl's here and this is one of those videos that we have been waiting to do. We're so excited because we're talking about graphics and font and all of those pretty little elements that you add to a video to really give it some character. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Yeah. So let me just dote over my beautiful friend for a second. She's beyond talented. It would be annoying if she wasn't so freaking lovely and enjoyable to be around, but let's just have a quick little rundown and I'm probably gonna get the numbers wrong, so please correct me if okay. I get them wrong. Yeah. Okay, so YouTube following, 107,000? 170,000. Oh my God. Facebook following, 35,000? 130,000. <laughs> I'm getting like sort of the numbers. Like... No, Insta, Insta. Insta is oh a God. small one. Okay, okay, okay. A low one. 9,000? Got it! Oh, got it! Yes! yes! Sorry, sound levels peaking. Dave's ears oh. falling out. <laughs> Tell everyone a little bit about what you do. Okay, so I uh, started out as a YouTuber, really, and oh. then started singing guitar, whatnot, and then I've been a graphic designer for the past five years or so. Killing yeah. it, so many brands, which I'm sure I'll flicker across the screen right now. The best thing is, this one here also did our rebrand. Yeah, Sydney Classic, woo! Pretty much the only reason you're seeing us live on socials a lot more now is because we have the right branding and the right logos and all of the right package to present to you guys. Ooh, thanks, so, and, You're welcome. And that is such a big job that she did that we're gonna do a whole other video on that and do the step-by-step -step process so that you guys can see what's involved in a rebrand for a company. But we don't have time for that today. No. We have so much to talk about. We've got more important things to talk about. So many important things. This is a very passionate issue for both of us. This mm -hmm. is one of those things that we bonded on, like real. Video and graphics. Together. They come together. We need to make them come together in a good way. There are a few very basic examples, and I'm sure you've seen a thousand, so please rattle any off that you think of. But for example, you can't marry bubble font mm. with video footage of a funeral. Mm. You can't do that. This yeah. is important stuff. Why? Why do people do that? <laughs> you would use bubble font with maybe a kid's... A balloon party. Yeah, a balloon company. party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jumping party castle. Warehouse. Okay, so this is one of those really annoying loaded questions where it's like, give me this much of an answer in this much time. Oh, so tell me a little bit, and I know there's you could go into depth, but tell me a little bit about the process when you're starting with a new client. First off, research. Find out who the competitors are, see what they've got, see how you can beat them. Yeah? Nice. Second thing you do, go shopping for fonts. So what you want to do is actually go to anywhere where you can download custom Very fonts. Very important. Type in specifically your business name, see what looks good on mm. that because your fonts, whatever you shop for, it may not come out the same when you type your company name in there. So what you really want to do is actually Take a look yes. at exactly how it's going and to turn out, then some, download those Even some ones. letters, right? I've done that myself where I've thought, this mm. font looks perfect for this video, and then I'll find that the and symbol is actually really weird looking mm. and it doesn't match. So then yeah. I've got to use two different fonts and then that's a whole nightmare. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I specifically like looking out for R's, mm. S's, because they look very different, M's and X's. Yeah, right. So yeah. usually when I put in the, say the company name, it, yeah. At the end, like yeah. I would add a couple letters, yeah. like R, Y, nice. Z, just for the so fun of it, just like, take a look, yeah. After you shop for your fonts, what you want to do is, I don't know, try to find some sort of illustration inspiration if you say you need something to actually get paired with your font. For example, Amazing. I've done um, Sahara jewellery, <gasps> and Sahara is based in the desert, right? So beautiful. So, the sun is actually what revolves around this logo, yeah. and so yeah. that is how I create them. I'd love to bugger off for a second and yeah. get you to tell us a few of your favourite fonts, a few little tricks that you like to do, okay. and just tell us all about it. Alright. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Alright, so 
Some of my favorite fonts, uh, I would say Gotham is my go-to replacement for Helvetica New. They're quite similar, but Gotham is a little bit more rounded. And you've got different weights for that as well. You've got thin, you've got medium, you've got light, extra light, ultra light, wow. bold, semi-bold, extra bold. It's amazing. You've got a huge variety and you don't actually have to use Helvetica New for all of that because they're a little bit slim. As far as slim fonts are concerned, like movie types or whatnot, I'm a big fan of Chinger's and matchbook hmm. like maybe you could check the oh, those I love out that one. Yeah, yeah 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 so that's actually pretty cool it's kind of sleek but still classy at the same time a more professional font would be proxima nova that would actually be a good font to use a stronger font would be something like montserrat so I'm a big fan of those. Oh my gosh, so much learning here today. This is so good. Oh, I'm so good to have you here. Okay, so tell us about some of your favorite designs. Bye. All right. Oh, bye. Um, favorite designs. I have to say hands down Sydney Classic so far because they are the ones. <laughs> They are the ones who have actually used their brand really well and they bring out the consistency. Between everything, their, all their socials, their Facebook, their Insta, their, their <laughs> website, their videos, everything that they deliver, even down to their letterheads, everything is branded with the Sydney Classic brand and that is just amazing. It like, is so good to be uniform. It's very well executed Ooh. and honestly, as far as brands are concerned, like designing them, the fulfillment that I get from designing them is not as great as the fulfillment that I get seeing them succeed. So I would say my favourite one is definitely hands down. Yeah, yours. And can I just say my favourite thing about the rebrand that you've done for us is the beautiful little watermark that you can put in the corner of a video or a photo. There's your uniformity. Throughout your socials, you can see that left-hand corner icon or maybe right or maybe mm. top left, maybe right bottom. Right in the centre, right on uh, the side. Right Bang the in corner. the face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we should probably wrap it up because I think you and I could talk font and graphics on video and wow. media forever. And, and underwater. <laughs> and underwater. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, Rodeo, let's pack up now, guys. Sarah, Steph. Sarah, get back here.